and child's pose. So your knees are wide apart-ish, your big toes are touching, and you're gonna reach your arms forward and let your head rest on the floor. And if it doesn't rest on the floor, it's on a block or a pillow. And we'll just be here for the first minute. If anything doesn't feel good for your body, I want you to find a way to do the position that feels good for you. Right, and my head isn't resting on the floor because I want to keep talking. But you're here starting to settle in. Starting to let your breath get deeper. Bigger inhales. And bigger exhales. Maybe letting your breath go in and out through the nose. That's a nice way to start to calm down your body. Noticing the stretch in the back or the hips or the shoulders. And simply breathing. And then make your way up to all fours. Shoulders over wrists, hips over knees. And we'll find a cat cow. So inhaling to arch the spine, exhaling to round. Moving with your own breath, however fast or slow you're breathing, is what you're doing here. This should feel good for your back, your shoulders. You can kind of wiggle around in a way that feels good for your body. Last one, inhaling into that back bend, exhaling into the forward bend, and then come to a straight spine. Feel that the hands are pushing the floor away. Let your fingers be spreading wide apart. Good, and we'll inhale the right leg and left arm up off of the floor. And on an exhale, round your back and try to touch your elbow to your knee. So it's a balance. And we'll keep doing that. Inhale, reach your arm and leg out. On an exhale, round the back, try and tuck them under you. A few more like that. Last one, inhale the arms out, leg back. Good. And then hand down, knee down. We'll go to the other side. Inhale, right arm, left leg out. Exhale, round to touch. Keep going, finding your balance. Continuing to breathe in and out through your nose if you don't have too stuffy of a nose today. Time, reach the arm and leg out and place your hand down and your knee down. Go ahead, tuck your toes and let's reach the hips back and up for a downward facing dog. You might let the knees be pretty bent here so that your spine can straighten out or maybe start to straighten the legs depending on how your body feels today. If it feels good, you can bend one knee and then the other, kind of bicycling out the legs. And then come forwards to plank. You might need to lower your knees to the floor or keep your legs straight and start to bend your elbows as you lower your torso all the way down to the floor. Your hands are by your sides. Think of pulling the floor back behind you as you lift your heart forwards, look forwards. Little baby cobra. On an exhale, lower back down. 
up to your toes. Your knees can stay on the floor or lift them off. Push up into plank and back into downward facing dog. Good, let's do that once more. Inhale forwards to plank. Exhale, lower down. Knees could come down to the floor for that. Inhale, baby cobra. Lift the heart forward, little back bend. Exhale, lower the head down. Tuck the toes, press up, plank. And downward facing dog. Good. On an inhale, reach the right leg back and up off of the floor like a split. Exhale, step the right foot forwards, coming into a lunge. We're going to keep our fingertips touching the floor. Back leg is lifted up, or back knee is lifted up off of the floor. Good. Just pause here. Think of reaching the top of the head forwards as you press the back heel back. Can you keep everything the same except float the fingertips off of the floor so your legs are doing all of the work? And then maybe reach your arms back behind you, trying to poke your fingertips in the wall behind you. This might be enough, or if you want to make it a little bit more difficult, reach the arms forwards and then up alongside the ears. Oh, that's a lot more work for your back. Good. And then spin the back heel down to the floor and bring your torso up so you're in warrior two. Front knee is bent, arms are out wide. Very nice. We'll reverse our warrior. My left hand comes down to my left leg. My right arm reaches up and over, side bend. And then back to warrior two. Try that again. Reverse your warrior. And warrior two. Last time, reverse. Warrior two. Straighten the front leg and tip over into triangle pose. You can have your right hand at your right knee or shin or ankle or the floor, wherever you get to. Maybe you're turning your head to look up towards the top fingertips. Come back up into warrior two. And then like you're cartwheeling your hands down to the floor and step back to downward facing dog. I'm gonna turn around so I can keep facing you. You just stay where you are. Good. Inhale the left leg back and up off of the floor. Exhale, step it forwards into a lunge. Again, you're going to stay low here, pressing the back heel back, reaching the top of your head forwards, and then float your fingertips up off of the floor so your legs are working really hard. Reach your arms back behind you. Maybe if it feels okay, reach your arms forwards and up alongside your ears. Belly engaged. And then spin your back heel down to the floor, front knee stays bent, warrior two. Lovely. Reverse your warrior, inhale. Exhale, warrior two. Reverse the warrior. Warrior two. Last time. From warrior two, straighten the front leg, tip into triangle pose, however far you want to go today. Feeling the stretch through the back of the front leg, probably the inner thigh. Good. And come back up in warrior two. And then cartwheel your hands down to the floor, step back, downward facing dog. Can stay in down dog or if you want to do something a little bit hard for a moment you're going to walk forwards a little bit in your down dog bend your knees you can take a peek at me first before you do this we're just going to do 10 hops 
I bend my knees and I try and kick my butt. Kick and land and kick and land. All right, let's try it 10 times. Here we go. At your own pace. Or maybe five. You see what's doable for you. Good. Oh, 10's a lot. I'm tired. <laughs> Let's take a child's pose after you do all those hops, knees apart, big toes touching, reach your hips back. Just taking a moment here to find your breath again. And then come back up, press back, downward dog. Slowly walking forwards, hands come towards, or feet come towards your hands. The knees can be bent here. And let's catch our elbows, let your head hang down. If it feels good, you can sway from side to side. And then release the arms and slowly roll yourself up. Good. Let's come to standing and mountain pose. Arms are reaching down. Head is reaching up. Good. Transition your weight to one leg. And you can have the other foot just toes on the ground for tree pose if that's where you are today. Or you can put that foot as high up on your leg as feels good for you. Hands rest in front of the heart. Find something ahead of you to focus on to help your balance. <clears throat> I always think it's fun to try a really long blink. So you're closing your eyes for a few breaths. See how that goes. If that's not fun at all, don't try it. And maybe once your eyes are open again, your arms can reach up, reaching towards the ceiling. Good. And then bring your arms down, bring your top leg forwards, catch underneath your leg and see if you can straighten any mount. Ooh. And maybe release it. Hold for three, two, one. Stand down. Go ahead, mountain pose. Very nice. Second side, your tree pose, however high that leg wants to come today. Hands come in front of the heart. Feel your chest is really broad, like you're shining your heart forwards. Again, you might add a slow blink in to challenge your balance. When you want to, and your eyes are open again, the arms can reach up. Good. And then bring them down, catch under the left leg, straighten the leg any amount that you can, and then see if you can hold it for three. Good, two, one, stand down. Good, right. we'll come into chair pose. I'll just don't show from the side. Sitting down, reaching your arms up alongside your ears. This is a wonderful strengthener for your legs. Can you feel that your heels are pressing into the floor less than your toes? So your toes can wiggle around if you wanted to. Good, sit a little bit lower, lift the arms a little bit higher. Breathe. Good. And then fold forwards. Hands to the floor, step back, downward facing dog. Breathe there. And then lower your knees to the floor and let's come to a seated position. I'm gonna add a blanket under my bum so that I'm a little bit more comfortable. You might add a pillow, whatever you think would feel good for your body. All right, and here we are. Let's sit crisscross. All right, 
<clears throat> and if you need to sit higher, add anything else. Reach your arms forwards and tuck your left elbow inside of your right. If you wanna give yourself a hug, that's where you are great. Or you can press the backs of your hands together or maybe the palms together. As you press the arms into one another, try and lift the elbows. Good. Breathing here, feeling the shoulders stretching, no matter what variation you're in. This is called Eagle Pose Arms, Garudasana Arms. Good. Release. Let's try the other side. Other arm comes on top, whatever variation. And think of lifting the fingertips or the elbows. Deep breaths. And release. Very nice. Take your other leg forward. And all we're gonna do to finish out here is tip our torso forwards. And maybe you can let your elbows rest on the ground or your head rests on the ground. Let me tip my camera so you can see a little bit better if you need to. But you're just gonna find a forward bend here, any amount that works for you. This should be a pretty good stretch for the hips. Uh, and just so you don't walk out of here uh, with one side stretch, let's put the other leg in front one more time and lean forward one last time. So back up. Let's inhale the arms out to the side and up. Look up. And on an exhale, you can bring your hands down in front of your heart. One more time, reach your arms out and up. Big inhale. Exhale, hands down to the center. Good. And wiggle it out. And that's all the yoga we're going to do today.